We're here in Tynmouth in South Devon, and I'm talking to Trevor Coleman. Now, he is a member of the United Kingdom Independence Party, and he has very recently launched a terrific new campaign, uh, which he needs to tell you about. This is a very important campaign and going very successfully so far. So, Trevor, would you like to tell us more about it? I certainly will, Fern, but first of all, welcome to South Devon on a lovely, lovely day, and we're just a few miles from the English Channel, and it seems so pleasant sitting here. And yet we know, both of us, that there are Mm -hmm. perilous things happening to our country. The campaign itself is based on an educational program where we're telling the public what has gone on in this country for the last 34 years. The problem that we're facing is that most of what has happened to us here in Britain has been hidden from us deliberately by by our political leaders and by the media, And so the public are mainly unaware of the true nature of our uh, membership of the European Union. So the campaign is an educational one, and we're telling the public as much as we can about what is going on in the European Union. All right. Um, Now, UKIP has been described as a one-issue party, namely that you just want to get Britain out of the European Union. Um, If this is true, is your campaign just a single-issue campaign? Well, in a way it is. Um, because the one issue, which is European membership, affects every issue in our lives. And we're trying to tell the public, uh, by billboards and posters and leaflets, exactly how the one issue, European membership, affects every issue in their lives. And each of the posters will be a different one, each of the leaflets will be different, and they will tell the public how these EU in, uh, this EU involvement is interfering with the way we live our lives in this country. So the one issue becomes every issue. So what are the actual issues you will be addressing in this campaign? Well, we'll try to address virtually everything during the next 12 months. What I would say is that um, the first June poster that we put up dealt with the deceit that has been practiced upon this nation. And we featured the five prime ministers, that's Edward Heath, Harold Wilson, uh, Margaret Thatcher, John Major and Tony Blair. And we showed how each one of those deceived the public Uh, and drew us deeper and deeper into this federal state. That was in June. In July, this very month, we're going to deal with the question of immigration, which is a hot topic in this country. Uh, And we point out on the poster that over 400 million people now have a right to be here in this country without any kind of control. So that's in July. Uh, And in August, we're going to deal with the question of extradition. Currently in in this country, we have a, a furore over three people who are being extradited to America, they're known as the NatWest Three, Mm -hmm. without any shred of evidence being presented uh, before a court. Uh, What isn't being uh, told to the nation is that this kind of procedure applies to every one of us in this country. We can be taken from our beds without any evidence being presented before a magistrate, taken to any country in the European Union, prosecuted for conduct that is not an offence in this country, and then imprisoned. So we are subject to the same uh, laws that are now taking these people across the Atlantic to America. So we're going to deal with that particular issue uh, in August and then on uh, through the year. So every issue, as I say, will be discussed as far as possible. Now, supporters of the EU would point to the benefits of being in the single market and the other advantages of being within the European Union. What are your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, I would dispute that there are any benefits whatsoever of belonging to the European Union. The price we pay is very high. If we just look at the cash that we hand over every year uh, to pay our part of the European Union budget, because Britain is a net contributor, we pay well over £13 billion to the European Union as our part of the European Union budget. In addition to that, of course, there are the costs of belonging to the various um, associations and regulations that the uh, EU imposes upon us. And various estimates uh, are flying around somewhere between £40 billion and 120 billions a year extra on top of the costs in this country belonging to the EU. And the amazing thing about all this is that by belonging to the single market, as it's called, uh, we have access to something like 6% of the world's population, and we pay a huge price for, for that privilege. As far as the other 94% of the world's population are concerned, we have access to them completely free. So it seems amazing that we should be paying this huge cost and losing the right to govern ourselves just to have access to this market, which everyone else in the world, by the way, has access to completely free. How you feel and 
what message you want to give over and what you want, what would that be? Well, it's a very simple message, and it's the message that underpins the campaign that we're running currently at the moment. Uh, we have um, a, a slogan that goes with all our literature that now says, it's time we governed ourselves. We believe, I believe passionately, that every nation should have the right of self-determination and that the people who make the laws that govern me in my country should be elected by me in this country and by uh, my fellow countrymen so that those politicians and lawmakers are totally accountable to us. There should be no interference. There should be no outside involvement at all. We should be completely free to govern ourselves. So the one message, Fern, and my message to those watching this is very simple. It's time we in Britain governed ourselves. Thank you very much, Trevor. Thank you very much indeed. So there you have it. Now, there's a lovely, wonderful saying that says... For evil to flourish, all it needs is for good people to do nothing. So if you want evil to flourish, just carry on doing nothing. But if you want to beat this thing as we are fighting to do, join us in the fight. Join something. Write to somebody. Say something. Don't just sit there. <laughs> you need you. We need everybody out there to back us up with this campaign and to back us up with this fight because it's your country it's England, it's Great Britain, United Kingdom that we're fighting for. So I just implore you, join something, do something, say something. Thank you so much.